Hello everyone. In this video I'll be showing you how to recover a standard Electrum wallet with a wallet seed. So when you initially create a wallet you're given a seed and this alone is enough to recover that wallet if you lost it on your local machine. So you actually don't need the wallet password from before for wallet recovery so the seed is really useful and important and if you don't have it then you're not going to be able to recover your wallet. So to get started, you're going to want to install the version of Electrum that is closest to the one that was used to create the wallet that you are trying to recover. So go to electrum.org, click on the download page, and click on previous releases on the top. So here you can see all of the different versions, so choose the one that you think is the closest to the one that you used before. So in this case, I'm just going to choose 3.0 because I'm recovering a test wallet that I created a few days ago. So you also want to install the portable executable file just in case you chose the wrong version and you need to go back and quickly swap to a different one. So once you start up Electrum, you're going to see this page where it asks how you want to connect to a server. So just choose auto connect and then hit next. Now here you get to choose the name for your wallet and this name does not have to be the name that you had before because essentially what we're doing is creating a new wallet and then we're uploading the data from the old wallet into the new wallet. So this name can be anything. I'm just going to call it a recovered wallet and we're just going to save it to the default wallets directory. So click next and on this part choose standard wallet because we're just recovering a standard wallet. So click on next and here is where it's different. Instead of creating a new seed you're going to choose that you already have a seed and then hit next and right here is where you're going to type in the seed. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a seed from a previous wallet. Now that the seed is typed in, it's going to say seed type standard, which is correct. Uh, you don't need to mess with any of these options. And click on next. And here's the last page where you create a password. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be the old password. It can be a new password. It can be the old password. It can be whatever you want. So just create a password. Uh, make sure this is checked and click on next and now the wallet's going to be generated and here it is so even though this is, looks like a new wallet I didn't have any data on the previous wallet that I'm recovering but if you did it would show all of your previous transactions and it would show your balance so you would have successfully recovered your wallet um, unfortunately in this case I didn't want to show you guys my actual wallet so it's not going to look like it is recovered but just trust me it is recovered so that's all I have for this video thanks for watching if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll be making some more tutorials soon so stay tuned thanks for watching